And we see something really interesting when she says, no woman wants to walk out with a bruise on their face. First of all, interesting choice of words. I don't think any man wants to walk out with a bruise on their face either, but she does this a lot where she reminds the jury that she's a woman, maybe to gain more sympathy, but the body language here is spectacular. We see her two shoulders slowly go up. This isn't a fast thing as she tilts her head and looks at them. This is a classic display of innocence. We're exposing our neck like we're vulnerable. We're bringing the shoulders up. In fact, we see this a lot in cartoons when a character is trying to show innocence or like they didn't do something or they're trying to gain sympathy. Then as she introduces the makeup palette, she says, bruise kit, not a bruise kit. So her tone goes up as she perks up. Notice that I flutter again and she's really trying to correct herself on that and not call it a bruise kit. And there's a very good reason for that and it's due to what she does for a living. Amber is a professional actress and on stage, on television, a bruise kit is not a kit that hides a bruise. A bruise kit is a makeup kit that allows you to fake a bruise. So the moment she called it that, she instantly corrected herself and said, I call it a bruise kit. And instantly her eyes shoot to Elaine. There isn't a pause, nothing. She just goes right to her own attorney, Elaine. And it's almost like, please help. We gotta, we gotta move. We gotta keep moving away from this. And during this bit of uh, closing argument by Ms. Vasquez, you see Johnny Depp's body language. And I don't like a lot of this. Um, I haven't been very critical of Johnny Depp or his team and how they've been sitting at the table until this point. But when Johnny Depp is sitting there, you see Ms. Vasquez talking about something very serious that she's addressing in this argument. And instead of Johnny Depp being engaged, um, as I would like him to be, which is kind of... Uh, elbows or forearms on the table down focused being serious and attentive he's leaning back and then he reaches for his coffee cup takes a sip and at this moment you see juror five glance from camille vasquez to johnny depp now what's interesting about that is that camille that uh juror number five at this point is leaning backwards and to the left not so much aggressively away but it's, it's almost lazy and has been looking this way the whole time. And then you see the juror do this, glance at Johnny Depp. And this is kind of the first indication that you get from juror number five, that there might be something of a uh, judgment in her eyes or body language. The jurors are wearing masks and um, it makes reading them very difficult because the mask do doesn't just cover the nose, it covers the cheekbones. So you can't get any look at the, the face and how it's moving, whether one side's going up, you smile, smirk, anything. It's really difficult. All you have is the shoulders, the neck, the uh, eyes, and then the head tilt. That's all you really have to, to go off of. Right. Talking about her body language, um, what she does is that she will, take a deep breath and then hold it as she speaks. Um, and, and, and that's somebody under enormous stress. She will cry, but she's crying with her bottom of her face from here down. And there's no crying with her upper face, which is quite unusual. Um, she closes her eyes and disconnects um, from people. But what she does with her eyes that is so unusual is that she will close her eyes and then move her head. And then sometimes, the eyes are back here, even though the head's moved. And, and these are unusual things, or closes her eyes, moves, opens, closes, but, but they're still back there. Um, just, it's, it's uh, uncoordinated. Um, the head and eyes are out of sync. Um, she flips her mood. So she goes from the crying to, sorry, what did you say? Yeah, and then oh, back to the crying. Again, that's very unusual. She was doing that at the beginning. 